Alright, so this is weird, but once you think of it, it actually makes a lot of sense. There has been a latest leak suggesting that AMD are working on a brand new budget CPU on the Ryzen 7000 series by a really weird name which is called the Ryzen 5 7500F. Now once you think of it, first up, it feels like a scam, it feels like that news is not legit at all, but you know, of course take everything with a grain of salt, but actually, once you give it a quick thought or a deep thought into it it feels like this cpu should have been there for a long time and it feels like the ryzen 5 7600 right now is a bit of a scam and let me explain why so the latest leaks were in da vinci resolve benchmark and we were seeing this cpu being a six cores well threaded cpu basically right out of the bat it's clocked lower than the ryzen 5 7600 and it's actually doesn't have an integrated gpu unlike the Ryzen 5 7600 it does. <laughs> so why is this ever gonna be a legit news or why would you suspect this thing being actually true to happen? Well, a couple of weeks from now we have seen some leaks regarding the Ryzen 7 5600X 3D which is a 6 core 12 thread CPU with 3D vCache on the AM4 platform and a couple of days away from the release of this CPU we are waiting for it so yeah it didn't feel right it didn't feel you know that it makes any sense it may be something that amd would ditch but uh, it's true and it's happening so this might be the case with that one too now the next thing why a cpu like that would exist and this is where i come in in hand so basically the value of the ryzen 5 7600 once you think of it is really really bad and let me explain why the ryzen 5 7600 right now retails for 230 dollars the ryzen 7 7700 retails for 300 dollars this is an eight cores 16 threaded cpu that's 65 watts now the ryzen 7 7700 comes with the race spire cooler or the race prism cooler which is so good for this cpu and it cools it really good in order to run the ryzen 5 7600 at decent heat you know in order not to get over 85 degrees celsius you have to either lower down the temperatures and lower down the tdp max and lower down the clocks or you can get a tower cooler which is priced at least at around 20 dollars so this would bump up the total cost of the ryzen 5 7600 to 250 dollars while the ryzen 7700 you don't need that so this puts the 7600 in a really bad position you know compared to that one because we are $50 away from a really decent upgrade that would mean a lot in productivity and in some games like Call of Duty Warzone as you can see now so yeah this is why it makes a lot of sense for something like a Ryzen 5 7500F to exist you are ditching the integrated GPU which it wasn't that popular when it came to the previous AM4 platform GPUs and you're going on lower clocks which actually doesn't make that big of a difference hopefully it will not make that big of a difference and hopefully we will not see any ipc decreasing you know compared to the ryzen 5 7600 and yeah this is direct competitor to something like an i5 13400f so it better actually bring better gaming performance because it will never beat the i5 13400f when it comes to productivity so yeah this is the only thing that you can bank on actually in my opinion so yeah this cpu if it's true and hopefully we will see all these things that we have talked about this is gonna be a really bad anger of a cpu when it comes for around 170 to 180 dollars but you know the state of the market is everything is inflating right now so you're probably gonna see it for around 200 bucks anyways this is a really good addition to the ryzen 7000 series cpus and it just makes the ryzen 5 7600 you know looks worse in my opinion and that's been it this is when it comes to the ryzen 5 7500f a weird name but maybe the future lies within it to budget gamers and thank you for watching i'll see you in the next one and peace